Good evening, you're watching the news from the South Anato Forman Television. But first, the headlines. Greetings of the Canadian leadership to His Majesty the Sultan are conveyed by the Speaker of the Senate of Canada when he was received by His Highness Said Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. The Egyptian parliament hails His Majesty the Sultan's stance towards Egypt and His Majesty's kidneys to support the relations between the two countries. Presenting the Municipal Council's laws and its executive regulations top discussions at a workshop in Muscat Municipal Council. The Sultanate's atmosphere is to affect by a trough of low pressure system for the next three days. Live from the news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, here we present to you the details of this news bulletin. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has received a couple of thanks from His Excellency President Bunhang Vorachit of the Laos People's Demo Democratic Republic in reply to His Majesty's cable of greetings on his country's National Day. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Highness Said Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, received today His Excellency George Fure, Speaker of the Senate of Canada, where he conveyed greetings of the Canadian leadership and its good wishes to His Majesty the Sultan. After welcoming the guest and his delegation, His Highness Said Fahad reviewed the existing bilateral relations between the two friendly countries and ways of boosting them in many fields. They also reviewed the latest developments on regional and international arenas. His Highness illustrated the effect of the role of the Council of Oman in the march of economic and social developments witnessed by the country and to the appreciated efforts of the Council and its contributions along with the government in the preparation of future plans. From his side, His Excellency the Speaker of the Canadian Senate expressed his gratitude to this visit and commended the comprehensive accomplishments in Oman, hailing the role of the Sultanate on the external level. His Highness Said Fahad also conveyed greetings of His Majesty the Sultan to the guest and his good wishes to the Canadian leadership. The meeting was attended by His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, and His Excellency Sheikh Al Fadl bin Mohammed Al Harthi, Secretary General of the Council of Ministers, and as well as His Excellency Dean Hurak, Ambassador of Canada, accredited to the Sultanate. The Egyptian parliament hailed His Majesty's stance towards Egypt and the role played by the leadership of the two countries in developing and enhancing the economic relations between Muscat and Cairo. That was revealed during the Arab Affairs Committee meeting at the parliament as it commended in a statement the Sultanate's government approach in overcoming obstacles facing Egyptian manpower in the Sultanate. Confirming the importance of intensifying cooperation and trade exchange between the Sultanate and Egypt and valuing the continuous cooperation which aims at achieving the Arab security strategy. The committee recommended on the importance of the implementation and activation of the agreement signed between the two countries and on creating a joint supreme committee assigned to coordination and integration between the two sides and to activate the cultural activity in all literary and artistic tracks due to its vital role in boosting the joint bonds linking the Sultanate and Egypt. The Arab Affairs Committee also congratulated His Majesty the Sultan for receiving the International Arab Human Rights Award 2016 in appreciation to his great efforts and noble contributions in the field of protection and support of human rights on local, regional and international levels. The Municipal Council in the Governorate of Muscat held a workshop on Municipal Council's laws and its executive regulations which was presented by legal specialist. The two-day workshop focused on the new members of the Council and they have discussed their rights, duties and their social roles during the second terms of the Municipal Council. It also included to get acquainted with the Municipal Work concept and the future of the Municipal Council in the Sultanate. 
The latest weather analysis of the National Multi-Hazard and Early Warning Centers shows an effect of a trough of low pressure system over the Sultanate skies. Chances of isolated rains, occasionally thunder showers over the governorates of Masqat, Musandam, North Al-Batina, South Al-Batina, South al sharqiya and along Al-Hajar Mountains for from tomorrow, Thursday, and continue for the upcoming three days. Sea states is expected to be moderate to rough along the coastal areas of Musandam and Sea of Oman with a maximum wave height of 2.5 meters. The authority urges citizens and residents to take precaution and to follow weather forecast and calls on fishermen and seagulls to make sure of the weather condition before venturing out to the sea during this period. You're watching this alternative for Man Television and still to come in our news bulletin. The third innovation forum commences uh, in the governorate of Muscat amid aspirations of more attention and development. to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. With the aim of improving student skills in the field of innovation and enhance their abilities in social projects, the third innovation forum was organized in the Governorate of Muscat. The forum, with its activities aimed at spreading the innovation culture among the students to build a generation capable of becoming innovative and creative, which will lead to improving the society. It's as well aimed at enabling the students to practice theories of the study subjects like sciences, mathematics, engineering and technology. The forum also called upon research and education institutions in the Sultanate, like the Research Council, to support the students' ideas. The Public Authority for Electricity and Water held a ceremony to honor the participants in its campaigns and awareness activities on water consumption control. The authority honored the participants in its campaign titled I Commit, which started in March 2016 and targeted institutions and individuals in the Omani society. The celebration included a number of pre presentations and a photographic exhibition on water consumption control and the importance of preserving water resources. The authority sought uh, to implement a number of plans to spread awareness among society segments about uh, rationalizing water consumption, especially that the Sultanate is one of the countries that suffers water scarcity. Under the title Women's Rights, Opportunities and Challenges, the Oman Journalist Association organized a workshop on women's uh, rights. The workshop states the media role in spreading awareness of the women's rights and her issues in cooperation with the bodies concerned. With the participation of around 300 competitors from various governorates of the Sultanate Sultan Qaboos Higher Center for Culture and Science held a ceremony to honor the winning students in the Reed competition for the year 2016. The competition aimed at improving students' attitudes towards reading and acquaint them with the importance of reading in the individual and society life. The number of uh, insured in the private sector in the Sultanate amounted to 214,558. The majority of the insured were in the age of range of 26 to 30 years. These figures were according to latest statistics issued by Public Authority for Social Insurance till the end of December 2016. The number of active establishments covered by social insurance systems reached 16,462 establishments. The total number of registered cases by the end of December amounted to 57,318 cases. The Public Authority for Social Insurance pointed out uh, at the end of the service cases, which also included the termination of services, resignation, transferring to another employer, and the end of the service due to the death and inability to work amounted to 13,603 
cases. The Omani self-employed system and the like showed an increase by 10,768 insured. With regards to insurance protection extension system for Gulf Corporation Council country citizens, said the number of insured reached 1,810 at the end of December last year. Ministry of Health represented in the Department of Education Quality Guarantee and the Directorate General of Human Resources Development to organize a workshop on preparing the institutes for the second stage of the academic accreditation. The workshop aimed to qualify the health institutes for the accreditation through presenting the required needs of the institutes to complete it. It also focused uh, to spread awareness of the self-evaluation for the institutes uh, before processing the academic accreditation. The Oman Heart Association held today a press conference to highlight the preparations for the 13th Gulf Heart Association Conference, which will be hosted by the Sultanate next month. More than 50 experts from the United States and a number of European countries will be participating in the conference, as well as more than 600 participants from various related disciplines. Moreover, prominent experts from various world countries have been invited to share their knowledge and expertise in the field of cardiovascular diseases. The press conference addressed the main themes of the conference such as acute coronary syndrome and the surgical interventions, congenital heart diseases and cardiac emergencies. Aiming at spreading health awareness among employees, the College of Applied Sciences in Nizwa, in collaborations with the Director General of Health Services in the Governorate of Adakhliya, organized a training workshop on cardiopulmonary resuscitation. The workshop focused on acquainting the participants with the necessary skills that should be followed in cases of heart attacks and ways of recognizing these cases, as well as the methods of resuscitation. And now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Uh, partly cloudy skies will prevail over the Governorate of Masandam and the coastal areas overlooking Sea of Oman with chances of scattered rainfall. The rest of the Sultanate will have clear skies with chances of cloud accumulation on Hajar Mountains in the evening and low clouds or fog on north and south of Sharqiya and Al Wusta early morning. Winds will be north to northeastly light to moderate, occasionally active over the coastal areas. Seas will be moderate to rough with the maximum wave height of 2.5 meters. Watching the Sultanate of Oban television, and before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Greetings of the Canadian leadership to His Majesty the Sultan are conveyed by the Speaker of the Senate of Canada when he was received by His Highness Said Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. 
The Egyptian parliament hails His Majesty the Sultan's stance towards Egypt and His Majesty's keenness to support the relations between the two countries. Presenting the Municipal Council's laws and its executive regulations top discussions at a workshop in Muscat Municipal Council. Sultanate's atmosphere is set to affect by a throw of a low pressure system for the next three days. With that, we come to an end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studio. It's good night. <laughs>